Do you want to know if your ex will ever come back? Well, here's a reading where I can answer that question. The secret lies by looking at their element, not just yours, and importantly, to look at what the influence is in their current thinking and what they're going to do next. Make sure you stick around towards the end of this video because there is a bonus of what you can do to manifest this opportunity from the universe. So subscribe right now and press the bell so you don't miss anything. My name is Anne Marie. I've been a professional tarot reader for 30 years. Hello everyone and this is the start of our new element series where we're going to be focusing very much on relationships. The question today is will my ex ever come back? Now we're going to look at this in the combination of earth and earth. So if you're an earth sign and the person who is your ex is also an earth sign, this video is for you. So here is your reading, if you are Earth and your ex is Earth. Let's see what the cards are saying. Will my ex ever come back? The Tarot's advice here is saying there's every opportunity. We've got Page of Pentacles here. And Page of Pentacles is a card that relates to a Capricorn. So if your ex is a Capricorn, there is every opportunity that this will work. It'll start in its infancy, of course, so there's going to be the opportunity for things to get going with a brand new beginning. Looking here, okay, there's a logic in this relationship. It can actually work. You're being given opportunities of a new beginning. Um, what's gone wrong in the past is I feel that there wasn't enough fun, I feel there wasn't enough play, and it also feels here as if there wasn't enough balance perhaps too much serious thinking if we look at this. So the card's advice here is the obstacles that you two were facing was a lack of joy, a lack of fun, and that comes in here, and also uh, socialising and being too serious about matters. So emotionally, there wasn't enough fun. So that's if this person is a Capricorn. If your ex is a Capricorn, that's what these cards are about. Now, let's look here. From you, okay, you're willing for this relationship to work 100%. Ten of Pentacles here, so you're very grounded in the earth sign that you are. Now, let's take a look in the house of Taurus. So if we've got a Taurian around you and your ex is Taurus, again, really positive cards. We've got the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles, so yes, your ex will return. So we've got that if we've got a Capricorn coming in, and we've also got that if we've got Taurus. Now, if your ex is the other sign, the sign of Virgo, okay, again, you've got a new beginning. You've got Hanged Man and Ace of Wands. So in the house of Virgo, we've got the fact that this would work, and yes, you're being given a second chance. Look at the Aces in this spread. We've got Ace of Cups here. We've got Ace of Wands going on here. This is the house of relationships. It's sunny. Look, pentacles. This is a very positive reading. I can tell you that because we've got pentacles. Pentacles are actions that materialize into products. It's where you make things happen. So in the house of relationships, we've got the sun card, lovely card there. Look at that. Fabulous. Alongside seven of pentacles. So if we look at relationships, here's the house of relationships, the seventh house. And we've got the sun card and the seven of pentacles. Pentacles are strong. We've got seven of pentacles. This relationship will progress. So yes, this is somebody that's going to come back and work hard at it. We can see that here with what's going on in this here. And this is the house of Virgo. So if your ex was a Virgo, you're being given a chance with the Ace of Wands here. The Hanged Man says it needs to be turned around. You need to look at things differently this time. So Hanged Man is telling you, get some perspective, look at things from a complete different angle, and you'll get a new beginning. 
Uh, also, I feel that both of you are logical about wanting this to work. And if we look up here, the Moon card and the Six of Pentacles, all these pentacles, Earth, absolutely fantastic. And you're both Earth signs, of course. So, again, you will hear from your ex again. And it will be a bit different this time. I feel that your ex is giving and you are able to say thank you very much. Okay, a bit more balance going around here, more give and take, more depth of emotions, by the way, and massive changes here. There is love, okay, and a serious love. We've got that here, we've got that here, and we've got that here. But this is the obstacle. Remember we talked about there was a weakness in play, fun, joy, celebration, socialising. Too serious. This is the emotions. This should be cups, not ten of swords. So that's what went wrong before. In the past, I feel that, yes, again, keeping up appearances, um, doing things in ways to be seen to be doing the right thing. And I feel there was trust. We've got the King of Wands there. That's lovely. If we leap into Capricorn, which is the other Earth sign, we've got Judgment and Page of Cups. Again, great cards. So judgment is new beginnings, things will never be the same, they will change, it's a crossroads for both of you. But what's important is its pair, you know, its partner here, a page of cups, a willingness to actually go in and look at love from the beginning. It's going to be a clean slate, it's going to be a new beginning. So if we are looking at your ex being a Capricorn, here's the message. We've got judgment, crossroads, page of cups, flirtation, happiness, sense of fun, sense of dreaminess, um, flirtiness, and that's together. Okay, so if we look at what the tarot's advice is, you're going to be given the opportunity. But again, we've got a page. It's telling you, you're going right back to the start, right back to the beginning, things will be different. Too many serious matters perhaps going on with the King of Wands in the past and Ten of Swords as part of the obstacle and not enough fun. So, let's look at the karma of this relationship. Things will get to a point where revolutionary changes cause this to be rebuilt because we've got the Tower and the King of Swords. The focus is there. Absolutely it is. Let's look at that. So. That's the karmic value of this. If I look at Taurus as your ex, Hierophant is the Taurus, the Taurus can be trusted. If I look at your ex being Virgo, here we have the Hermit and Nine of Swords. This person is wishing to actually make amends with you and they've got sleepless nights. So if you were with Virgo before, believe me, Look at this. They're suffering mentally. And this is the house of wishing. Hopes. Scared that it's not going to get back together again. So you will hear from your ex. And we've definitely got cards that seem to suggest they want it. And this card here, Six of Pentacles. Well, progress. Depth in emotions. The moon. Fears were highlighted the last time. Now you two have got to work together and become more playful before you start building and becoming too serious. So if we look at Capricorn, if Capricorn was your ex, we're looking at the Devil card over here. Okay? This person's very disappointed, they're very apathetic. And this is the house of communication in my spread. So it's saying that they're disappointed they've not heard from you. So your Capricorn, if your ex was a Capricorn, there's disappointment, they're apathetic, there's been no communication from you. What's the advice? Should you actually contact them? If you choose to, all would be good. Okay. But I would also say, looking at this, the opportunity is going to come from them. So let's take a look at the archetype cards and see what we've got going on here and any advice that may be coming up. Let's look at the fact if you are Taurus. 
So I've pulled out some archetype cards and this is for you if you are Taurus. So I've got the priest, I've got the thief and I've got the companion. This is telling you to be in touch with your spiritual side but keep it for yourself. Don't push it onto other people. Don't try and actually make their lessons, you, you know, uh, hurry up. I, you, it may be absolutely crystal clear that it's the right time for you but it might not be the right time for other people, particularly if we're looking at the relationship of your ex and wanting it back, but what advice is coming from the cards for you to help that work? Be spiritual, okay? Shed light on the situation. Know that no one else can steal it from you. It's down to you if this goes right or if this goes wrong. And look at the fact that as a companion, you are loyal and you have tenacity and you're not selfish. So it's really important that you are aware that that's how your ex earth sign now knows after this gap, after this break, what's been going on. Okay, so let's look at that from a different angle. We'll reshuffle. Now I'm looking at your Virgo. What's the advice for Virgo? Okay. Okay, again, we've got the priest here, we've got the bully, we've got the vampire. What's the advice? Be careful that you don't push people into what you want. Make sure that you don't drain people. Make sure that someone doesn't drain you. The advice for you, if you, you are Virgo, is maybe this person was a bit of a bully. Maybe, you know, this person actually really sucked the life force out of you. And maybe they weren't ready to look at the spiritual path. Now, for you, you've got to look at the fact that you need to know that there are some fears being with um, someone who cannot see things in the order of which your life and your world revolves. So make sure that you are able to let them know your fears, let them know that you're being drained, and let them know that you're a spiritual being. That needs to be communicated. So that's the advice from the archetype cards if you are a Virgo. I'm shuffling now if you are the Capricorn and you are looking at whether your ex is coming back. What advice have we got for you Capricorn? Wow, fantastic. You are a wonderful, passionate and devoted lover. You know, you have something of appreciation for your ex. You appreciate people and things. Everything is of value. So know that you are a superb lover. You're also somebody that has a wisdom to seek the truth. Very true for you, my dear Capricorn. So if you are looking for the answers, the wisdom will always come by continuing your journey, knowing that part of the journey is as important as reaching the goal, because the lessons that you will obtain through that will actually help you. So I feel this is talking about this time apart that you are growing, and that they are growing and coming back in with your ex will actually lead to more development because you've developed and grown and so have they. So they've actually got it. You know, my goodness me, I'm really disappointed, you know, that where is my, my girl? Where is, where is my love? Where is my love? They've missed you certainly missed you. So if you're Capricorn, the advice here is you need a time. They need a time. You need to seek out the truth on your own. You're an excellent, passionate and devoted person. You always value and appreciate someone and something. And this card, the artist here, is telling you that you have an, a way of expressing yourself in life that goes beyond the five senses. So you're inspired to see things differently, symbolically, 
So your spiritual side connects with symbology and anything to do with the arts, anything at all that will bring in the arts, will always give you guidance. So the guidance for you is these three cards. Okay, so just looking for you if we can get some crystals that will help you being earth and your partner being earth. So what do we have? Moonstone will help you. This will help you bring back that energy for that love. Huh. Here we go, rose quartz, you know. Here's my rose quartz, of course. Rose quartz, absolutely lovely. Crystals rebalance. Crystals will bring the balance and the harmony back in the cycle of the moon and the moonstone helping you to do that. And a rose quartz perhaps, I would say in your kitchen, that's the heart area of the home and I'd like to see that there. And also my dear earth, you need to be around water. Water in such a place where you are connected with the earth and the element of water. Water is emotion. Water, emotion, feelings. Let them come and go. So there's the advice for you, my dear Earth sign. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I am pleased to say that for all on this Earth to Earth relationship reading, we had some really positive cards. We know that because it was pentacles. Pentacles answering, giving you the product of what it is that you're looking for. Until next time, please do join me. The next one will be a combination of earth and water. Till next time, bye-bye.